Hey y'all, it's your girl, Generational Curse Breaker. I am back with a video for you guys on today. I wanted to get on here and talk to my ladies about domestic violence, okay? Because I recently found out yesterday that the domestic violence rates are increasing, okay? And ladies, that is not a good sign, okay? That is not a good sign. So let's talk about it, okay? So yesterday I was on YouTube. I was scrolling down trying to find something to watch. And I came across like certain videos saying that, you know, um, a few women had died due to domestic violence. And so that inspired me to create this video today because, you know, I'm getting tired of hearing a lot of women die this way you feel me and also i am a survivor of domestic violence so i definitely want to talk about it because the rates are increasing okay so first i'm gonna say this ladies as women we have to make better choices in men okay we can't go for the bad boy types anymore we can't go for those types anymore because most of the time not always but sometimes these men you know are the ones that would you know um beat on us okay sometimes not all the time okay but we can no longer make the wrong choices in men okay second we have to understand that when a man beats on a woman, he has psychological issues, okay? Something is wrong with that man, okay? And when you think about it, nine times out of ten is because of his mom, okay? Whatever his mom did to him in his childhood, he's taking it out on every woman he gets with, okay? Because in reality he's a coward he's a coward because he can't face his mom he can't tell his mom to her face like you're the reason why i'm a messed up individual you're the reason why i beat on women he can't tell his mom that because he's afraid to okay so he has to find weak women okay to take out all of his frustration anger unaddressed childhood trauma all that emotional baggage he has to find somebody weak to dump all of that on do you hear what i'm saying okay so right now we are analyzing two things so far we have to make better choices in men second the man that's beating on you has psychological issues something's wrong with him okay um third ladies when the when a man first hits you okay when he hits you for the first time don't allow it to happen the second time the third time the fourth time okay once he hits you for the first time you press charges against him okay press charges against him don't allow him to hit you for the second time the third time don't give him that opportunity to because once you do that he's going to think okay she's okay with this she's allowing it so i'm going to continue to beat on her and the more you allow it the more you're risking your life that third time could be your demise do you hear what i'm saying ladies okay so the first time he hits you press charges against him once you press charges against him do not bail him out okay get a restraining order i know restraining orders are not really dependable but do what you can legally okay take all the legal steps you can take to make sure that you're safe and your loved ones are safe okay period because if you were to drop the charges He's going to come out of jail or prison and he's going to beat the crap out of you for pressing charges against him. 
okay? So just keep him in that cage. Keep him in there, period, okay? But also, too, ladies, like, we have to understand that we have to love ourselves more, okay? We have to love ourselves more. When you think about it, a woman that allows a man to be on her don't really love herself. She does not value herself. She doesn't know her worth. She has low self-esteem to allow a man to be on her, okay? And that's where we need to work on as women. We need to work on loving ourselves more, building up our confidence, and, you know, knowing our worth as a woman. We have to stop overlooking the red flags. Once you see a red flag, that is your cue to go. That is your cue to get up and leave. Okay? And I know sometimes it's hard to just leave a man. Um, because, first of all, you are trauma bonded. Okay? You are too deep in love to leave him. Because, first of all, like, okay... As women, we we fall in love fast. Men don't, okay? We are emotional human beings, okay? And so our emotions are so wrapped up around this man that sometimes it's hard for us to just get up and leave. You feel me? Um, All right, so second, it's hard to leave because... If you try to leave, he will possibly kill you. So I know it's not easy to just get up and leave. You know, you have to take safety precautions. You hear me? You hear me? So, um, yeah, the domestic violence situations are very risky. It's very risky. And from my experience, I've dated a lot of men that used to um that used to beat on me you know and um thank god i got out safely you know because there are many times where my life could have been in danger you feel me um but i thank god that he you know um provided a way of escape for me you know but um ladies we have to do better make better choices in men you know um Stop trying to love these broken men who don't want to be saved. They don't want help. Let them stay like that by themselves. Okay? You can't save a man like, like that. You can't save a man like that. You really can't. But um, even with men, too. Men go through domestic violence, too. You know? So, fellas, if you see the first red flag, you know, get up and leave. Don't allow a woman to hit on you, you know? Um, a lot of people praise, like, toxic relationships nowadays. They, they think it's cute, you know, but it's not cute. It's actually unattractive, you know. So don't allow a woman to beat on you either. You feel me? So um, either way it goes, male or female, don't allow anybody to beat on you. Love yourself more. Um, take every legal action you can take. Um, and just be safe. You feel me? Be safe. Um, but that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your girl, Generational Curse Breaker. Comment down below if you are a domestic violence survivor. I would love to know your story in the comments below. Um, yeah, stay safe out there, you guys. Peace and love.